Today is the 34th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act, and technology has come a long way to help people with disabilities, including how to plan vacations. Kenya Ross is here with the details. Kenya? That's right, Jennifer. I found that the Louisiana Developmental Disabilities Council works with different state agencies to help advance the lives of people with disabilities and for them to become more independent. Planning for things like traveling takes self-starter skills and the usage of generative AI, for example. According to the travel publisher Metador Network, one out of five people who use artificial intelligence tools for travel use them to plan travel for someone with a disability, including themselves. The CEO of Metador Network says the company created a specific travel AI called GuideGeek that will be useful to fit the needs of a person possessing a disability. He says the AI feels as simple as chatting with a friend. I think they all share the common challenge of the fact that it's just really hard to plan travel, too hard to plan travel as a disabled traveler because you're looking for information that is oftentimes feeling like a needle in a haystack of the internet. You're clicking on a whole bunch of sites. You're looking for very specific information around wheelchair access or sensory sensitive hours at a, at a museum or an attraction. CEO Ross Borden says overall, generative AI can be imperfect and sometimes it can give wrong information on a business in terms of opening and closing hours. But this new AI travel guy is trying to help cut down on confusion when people with disabilities are getting ready to go out of town. And 15 months ago, we were at around 15% of all conversations had some sort of error or confusion. That's now under 2% with GuideGeek. So 98% of the answers that GuideGeek is giving travelers don't have any Errors. The Louisiana Developmental Disabilities Council received a July 2024 report from one of its state agency partners detailing how many financial abuse allegations were investigated in the state among adults. Borden says the AI platform is integrated into common social apps like Facebook and Instagram, making it free to use. Is really all about access and sort of a frictionless experience. So um, we've tried, if you can text with a friend, uh, you can text and chat with GuideGeek. And I think uh, some skepticism is healthy, actually. Um, but I think this, I think travel is kind of a harmless part of AI. And today is also known as National Disability Independence Day.